this shit, I guess what? that this was meant Finally for me famous, yeah. Yeah. Tell a bitch to tell a friend and tell a friend to tell a hoe I have been the realest since the doc cut my umbilical Hundred inch Yo, what? You see where I'm from, boy? The time. Secretary tell you in, I hope. Stack that paper, stack it, stack it, stack it up some more. Give me everything I want, then I'm asking for some more. <laughs> yeah, I need you to stunt, man. You like famous and shit. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh, shit. I do it. B.I.G. Right. Bitch. Boy. Shine down, nigga. Boy. Boy. Okay. Okay. Smoke good. Smoke good. Fuck better. What? Count money. What's better? These little niggas can't hang. Can't big hang. shit popping, bitch, and big my first name. I'm a West Sider. Sider. Detroit, player. Detroit player. Fuck around and I might bring back gators. Nigga, what? Every day I leave the crib with no money And come back later with that motherfucking paper Finally famous over everything That's just how I feel, bitch They try and stop my shine, they yell and hit the kill Switch wrong nigga to deal with Less you're doing the deal with Grind hard, that's how I was built, bitch Whoa there, whoa there, I'm who everybody know here I come through in a club and get more money than promoters Oh, that's your girl? I see her at my shoulder I be off in the hood, I bet you don't ever Go there, ain't so slow there, boy. Don't go there, boy. It's people you boy. don't know there, boy. Young nigga that's addicted to the Polaroids. Flash. And I gave these niggas more lines than corduroy. And my bitches be gorgeous, boy. Showtime, I hope you're recording, boy. I'm out here. Just getting to the point as an artist to where I'm ready to really come out with an album. I feel like, you know, all this time I've really been trying to find myself as an artist, man. I've been, you know, people used to say, nigga, you sound like Kanye, you sound like this, you sound like that. I mean, shit, I was mentored by Kanye. I'm, you know, that fool taught me a lot of things as far as like, he taught me not to write. You know what I'm saying? I don't write shit down, I, I premeditated thinking. You know, he taught me how to get better. So of course, naturally, yeah, I did probably did have an accent similar to Kanye's because that was who I came up to. You know what I'm saying? That was who brought me up. But now I feel like uh, I know I can't do that. And I feel like really coming into myself with my own style. Even just coming from Detroit, I feel like when you pay attention to a lot of great rappers, you know, Detroit is known for their style. They know that. You hear Biggie talk about Detroit players, Pink Mean Cage, you hear Jay, you know, like all these famous people, big people, and honorable people reference Detroit for their style. I feel like I'm almost a reincarnation of that, man. I'm letting people know, like, this fresh shit we got it on lock, whether it comes to this fashion, this music, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Being mentored by people like Kanye, Taz on them. You know, and just like even the streets of the D, like you get your own style. You know, even when the style of rap you seen, you know, how influential a new style of rap would be, man. I started my own style of rap. And it really took off in hip hop. So really I'm just establishing, bringing that style shit, letting people know that this is what it is, man. This is a lifestyle. This ain't no act. You know what I'm saying? This shit is every day, man. And just grinding on this album and on this mixtape, Going all the way in on that shit, you know, long nights in the studio, long days in the studio, you know, you really lose a sense of relationship, man. I, it was at one point where I didn't even talk. My grandmother, who raised me all my life, who was like, could be on the last strand of life, you know what I'm saying? I didn't talk to her in like months, and you know, losing a lot of relationships. People saying, man, you changed, nigga. What the fuck? You going Hollywood? You this, you that. 
But honestly, man, you just don't have time for shit. But this is what you asked for, you know? This is what you signed up for. You always gotta remember that. It's also a flip side to that because some of the people who do try and keep in touch with me, it's like, nigga, would you be trying to keep in touch with me if I was still around the block? You know what I'm saying? They look at me like I'm weird. I'm looking at them like, man, you the weird one. You the one that's going Hollywood and being judgmental for coming at me like that. Uh, but it's definitely affected my music, man. Tons. I feel like um, just on this new music, people will hear, you know, the struggles of maintaining relationships, the struggles of getting on, the struggles of being broke, all that shit. Just going through real G shit, people. You know, stuff people really go through in life all the time.